I'd like to introduce Danielle from the United States who takes LDN for Hashimoto's thyroiditis. Thank you for joining me, Danielle. Hello. Could you tell us when you first started to notice there was something wrong with you? Um, I was actually um, in my, I was about 20 years old and um, I was having um, hyperthyroid symptoms and um, I wasn't, I went undiagnosed for several years, which was uh, really terrible. I was having classic hyper, uh, hyperthyroid and then I was uh, medicated shortly. And for some reason, when I was 25, I went euthyroid, um, probably because I uh, cut out gluten from my diet. I went on an Atkins diet. And then shortly, maybe I was about 28 when I went hypothyroid and um, I was having classic hypothyroid symptoms and was put on levothyroxine, um, which is a T4 only. And uh, that didn't take care of um, my symptoms very well, not very well at all. And um, skip ahead several years later, um, I found out about taking Cinnamel, which is T3 only. And by taking T3 only, I was able to finally eliminate 90% of my hypothyroid symptoms. So I was very comfortable taking about 100 micrograms of T3 only. Um, until just a few years, just this year, I found out about LDN. Um, I was uh, up to 200 micrograms of T3 uh, because I had a pregnancy and perhaps the pregnancy, uh, you know, upped my antibodies for some reason. Not sure, but I was, ta I was taking um, actually up to 225 micrograms. Um, by the time I found out about LDN, this was in October of last year, 2013. Um, when I started LDN, um, I was immediately um, able to decrease my T3 um, intake by 25 micrograms. Um, and uh, fast forward to about today, April 2014, um, I'm taking about 1.75 micrograms of LDN a day, and I've um, decrease my T3 intake to 150 micrograms from 225. And I feel amazing. I, I, I have even less hypothyroid symptoms than I had before taking the LDN. So it's been really fantastic. Wow, that, that is some story, isn't it? Yeah. Um, if you had to rate on a score of 1 to 10 before you started LDN, your quality of life, 10 being the best, what would it have been? Um, being on 225 micrograms of T3 only, I was, I had a pretty good quality of life, but, um, I'd say it was probably about a nine out of 10. But, um, now that I know that I have, no, you know, much less antibodies running around in my system, it's, it's definitely a 10 out of 10. Wow. Definitely. Yes. That, that is uh, really amazing. And how did you manage to get a prescription for LDN? How did you hear about it? Um, I had a, a friend and former co-worker who also had Hashimoto's. He told me about um, an LDN support group on Facebook. And I'd actually run across um, LDN on Dr. Mercola's website. I don't know if any of you out there have heard of Dr. Mercola. Um, he's here in the United States. He puts out newsletters. He published a, a newsletter talking about LDN. But at the time, I was so anti-allopathic medicine. I didn't want anything to do with it. But... Um, you know, a few, year, a few years later, we put us, you know, in 2013, I was more open to it. So um, I didn't have any health issues. When you first started LDN, did you notice any introductory side effects? Um, I didn't have any side effects. I know some people were reporting um, some strange dreams, but I didn't have anything of the sort. But um, I did notice right away that... Um, I'd always had um, leg edema, you know, inflammation in my legs. Uh, water would collect for some reason in my lower extremities. And um, because LDN uh, works on the inflammation as well, um, it really helped with um, my leg inflammation, which, which was fantastic. I've been struggling with that for almost 20 years. So that was really a wonderful um, side effect, if you want to call it that. And did LDN help with anything else? Um, what else? I understand you also found some benefits with PMS with the LDN. I did. I, I feel like um, I've experienced less PMS symptoms. Um, 
less information, you know, I used to get a lot of uh, bloating and, you know, a lot of water retention. And um, and I, the LDN has helped uh, keep it more steady. I don't have spikes in, in, in um, leg inflammation anymore. So that's really, really wonderful. <laughs> and how old is your child now? He's three years old now. He just turned three. And mm-hmm. how are you coping with a three-year-old with Hashimoto's? I feel like I can keep up with him. Um, I would say before before LDN, before Cinemel, um, I was just dead in my bed. I couldn't get out of my bed at all. But um, eventually I'll be going back to T4, uh, which is uh, levothyroxine, um, a combination of the two. But... Um, you know, you don't want to be on cinema only for the rest of your life, of course. But I feel like I can keep up with my child, you know. That's amazing. Thank you yeah. very much for sharing your inspirational story with us. Well, you're very welcome. You're very welcome.